it's all about mind control. A lot of animals can do it. I'm not just talking about animals you never heard the name of before. Insects, amphibians, even house cats can do Get it. Get the fuck out of here. It's true. Look it up. House cats have this parasite called toxoplasmosis. You know what it does? It makes field mice not scared of cats anymore. Why would the cats want that? So I could eat them. Field mice isn't scared of cats. It walks right up to it, presents itself like lunch. It's meals on fucking wheels. It's not true. It is true. It's not fucking true. It is fucking true, and it's not just field mice that they're infecting. They're infecting human beings. Every human being on the fucking planet that has a cat, it's true. What's better than a dozen dead field mice? It's one brainwashed human being that's bringing you fancy feast every five minutes. That's why Carol Baker has these dozen fucking cats in her house. Oh, shit. Yeah. I knew she was crazy. She's nuts, <laughs> man. Leave Carol Baker out of this, all right? She's a nice old lady. She just misses her husband. No. Carol Baker's not even Carol Baker anymore. Now she's a slave to a cat overlord. This is the worst week of the year. All the college girls leave, and all I'm left with are you fucking crazies. Yeah, go buy a cat, see what happens. Where are you going? Can you give me a ride? I gotta get home, Dale. It's on your way! Hi, Jerry. It's the same thing to have with a pound time a hundred fucking years ago, man. That ship didn't get raided by pirates and sink. No. No, a fucking sea creature came out of the depths and infected all the crew with a parasite that made him go crazy and jump overboard so it could eat him. Everybody knows that. Symbiotic, codependent. And now the government is harnessing the power of the parasites and putting it into vaccines with our kids. What are you doing? I'm buckling your seatbelt. Why? So when I drive into that telephone pole, you're gonna shoot through the windshield and then I'll never have to hear about fucking chemtrails and 9-11 and mind control and fucking lizard people again. That's fucked up. I don't believe in lizard people. Holy shit. It's still alive. Where the fuck did that come from? What are you doing? Put it out of its misery. You want me to hit it with a rock? Yeah, it's a kindness. That's what you do. It's dead. Are you sure? Get in the car. What are you doing out here? Dog's barking. Look, I don't want to catch you sleepwalking again, Dad. All right, all right. No more caffeine. All right, all right, I'm going to sleep. Yeah, well, sooner or later, you're going to be sleep driving and you're going to be sleep crashing. Uh, yeah. What, are you going to start seeing lullabies now? Don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, today's kind of tricky for me. Can Paul go on his own? I'm sure he did. 
Listen, it's gonna be a whole thing with school, Mom? and I'm gonna have to drop in on my dad and brother Mom? on the island. And look, I'm sorry, I just got a lot on my plate right now. I, look, I think this could be a legitimate problem we have on our hands. You just don't tell your family you'll be on the island. Yeah, that's not really how it works. Block Island is a small place. Mom, I don't want toast. Well, what do you want? Fruity Pebbles. We're out of milk. We've been out of milk all week. Emily, it's either toast or cereal with water. Mom. Yeah, oh, sorry. Sorry, listen, Paul is perfectly capable. He'll be fine to go without me. Audrey, everybody's got family problems. I, I don't want to argue with you over an assignment, okay? Yeah. There's a ferry at 7.30. Make sure you're running. <sighs> want to go on a field trip? to play hooky. Can you say hi to Paul? Hi, Emily. Must be nice to have an excuse to make a trip back home. Yeah. You get back often? Uh, less and less since my mom died. My brother's just kind of, I don't know. An asshole? Emily, <laughs> let's just not say that's Uncle Harry's face, OK? Dad. Dad? Lynch Boathouse to Patty M, do you copy? Over. Dad, it's Harry, where are you? Over. The house is burning down. Dad, wake up! All right, keep your spirit on. My brother's not an asshole. It was just tough after my mom died. Harry just he has a temper. Where were you? I took the boat out this morning. This morning or last night? Dad. Can you tie off the other end or are you going to make me do it myself? Can you remember? Was it dark out when you left? Hello? Hey, Dad. Oh, no, that's great. You, you got Emily with you? The island is a totally different beast this time of year. About 15 to 20,000 folks over the summer and just a thousand all year long. That's rounding up. <laughs> yeah, maybe. So, what's going on down at West Beach? Well, we've got a bit of a fish problem. Tons of dead ones were rolling up on the shore. How many? Hard to tell. Maybe nine or ten. Nine or ten what? Fish? Tons. Nine or ten tons. When did this happen? Yesterday? Well, uh, you know, not all at once. It's rancid. Emily, don't touch that. Come here. What does that mean, not all at once? Every few days, a new batch rolls up. Bill Ryan pulled in a whole net of them on Saturday. Anna Miller and her kid found them, what, three weeks ago? You remember Anna? Well, 
I'm glad you guys are finally cleaning up that mess. The whole west side of the island smells like taint. What's taint? Taint none of your business. Harry. So what do you think's been killing him? Uh, could be hypoxia. No, what's that? It's basically when too many fish are in a certain area, they can deplete the oxygen in the water too fast. So what? They drown? Kinda, yeah. They suffocate. They're suffocating. That's a trip. Yeah, right. It happens. So where's the EPA putting you tonight? Some more swank? Oh, no, I'm just gonna be taking the ferry back and forth. Oh, that's crazy. You should stay here with us. Oh, that's, that's okay. Oh, come on. We got plenty of room. You and Audrey can take the queen. Dad. Jesus what? Christ. <laughs> I'm just gonna, uh, use the restroom. Are you kidding me? What? He works for me. I'm his boss. Yeah, Dad, that's weird. Oh, give me a break. It's totally inappropriate. I just think that Emily should have a father figure in her life. Dad. Hey, Paul. Let me give you a lift to the ferry. No. I I'm going to take him. Do you mind keeping an eye on Emily? What about those ones? No, those are too small. Here. So this stuff. This stuff is like crack to fish. What's crack? It's like cocaine, but you can smoke it. Now you gotta be patient until you see some fish. What about those ones? Where? There. Wow, yeah, uh, maybe this wasn't such a good idea. What's wrong with them? You know, why don't we go try to catch some frogs in the marsh? Okay. I'm drifting off, all spaced out. He's fine. It was weird. I'm taking care of him, Audrey. I'm not accusing you of anything. I'm He's just... getting older. Might notice that if you came by a little more often. Okay. Sorry. Didn't mean anything by it. Dad's good. You brush your teeth? Yeah. If you need me, I'm right down the hall, okay? Okay. And if you get cold, you have a sweater in your back. Wait. What's this? Nothing. Where did you get this? Uncle Harry said I could keep him. Oh, he did, did he? Don't you think this frog is gonna miss his family? Uncle Harry said you take animals from the water all the time. That's different. Most of them go back in the ocean. But not all of them. Almost. Some of them die. Are you thinking about the fish we saw on the beach? I know it's confusing. But most of the fish we take out of the water, we put right back in just a few days later. We're learning about them. We're studying them so we can get to know them better. So we can help them better. But how are you helping them if some of them end up dead? I know it sounds mean and scary. But by taking some brave fish out of the water and learning about them, 
it can eventually help all the other fish. It's a good thing we're doing. I just want to learn about him. We'll see. She had a nightmare. Hey, are you okay? What happened? Y you okay, sweetheart? <laughs> Maybe she had a nightmare. She fell out of bed. Is she okay? What the hell was that? Probably had a nightmare. She woke up in a strange place. No, no. Something's wrong with that. What was he doing in there? What do you think happened? I don't know. But he really scared her. How much did he drink tonight? He didn't do anything. Listen, we're gonna take the first ferry out tomorrow morning. Audrey, you're overreacting. She had a nightmare. It's not a big deal. It doesn't make sense for her to be here while I work anyway, so... We're just gonna go. It'll kill him if you take off first thing. Just stay for breakfast, okay? He's not some monster. Yeah, I'm coming, Em. See you in the morning. What are you doing? We're heading out. Padre, stay for breakfast. Ferry leaves at 8 if we miss it. The next one's not till noon. How do you take it? He's not up yet. He's not? His door's still shut. Shit. What? He's gone. Lynch House to the Patty M. Do you copy? He was hammered last night. He's gonna get himself killed out there. Lynch House to the Patty M. Do you copy? Over. He's not responding. Sometimes he goes out in the morning to fish. I saw him leave last night. Are you sure it was last night? It was dark out.
I think we've got everything we need, guys. You know, if he was wearing a life jacket, there's a chance the Coast Guard will find him. But it's important to be prepared for the worst. This time of year, someone your dad's age, every hour that goes by, the odds get worse. That's it? Well, it's in the Coast Guard's hands. We'll keep you up to speed. Wait, so no one's coming from the mainland to take crime scene photos or take evidence or anything like that? It's not really necessary in this case. There's no reason to believe there was foul play. Are you kidding? Harry, if he had a few drinks, hit a little rough water... He wasn't drunk. Well, even sober. Big enough waves. Are you fucking kidding me? Harry. The place was ransacked. Somebody did this. Nothing was taken. His poles are still here. That new radio. Radio's busted. Not when we checked. We're doing all we can, Harry. I promise. But I know your dad. This is not the first time he had an accident drinking on his boat alone. I'm sorry, guys. I really am. Tom was a good guy. They'll keep searching until morning. This island ain't made of fucking saints, you know that? Stop it. We're not gonna get anywhere with you flying off the handle. They don't give a shit, Audrey. They're not gonna do anything. They're glorified beach patrol. You okay? I don't know. They searched the whole coast and he's not out there. How's Harry taking it? He thinks someone attacked him. I think it's just how he copes with something overwhelming. He wanted to sue the hospital when my mom died. She smoked two packs a day, got lung cancer, and Harry wanted to sue her doctor. He gets paranoid. He just refuses to believe the most obvious, simple answer is right. My dad drank too much. And I finally caught up to him. pretty hard to break one of these. It just doesn't make any sense. We gotta hire a private investigator. We gotta get divers out there to check out the area. Something happened to him. What do you expect to find? It's been almost 24 hours. I know it's hard. No. I'm not giving up on him. Don't do this to yourself. What are you doing here? Figured I could come help. Oh, you don't have to do that. It's a good distraction. How's Emily doing? She's confused. I don't think she really gets it. 
Yeah. Now your brother stopped by the office this morning. Seemed pretty out of it. Harry, why? Want to borrow some gear. What gear? Scuba equipment? Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm sorry, I thought you knew. It's been 36 hours. I mean, if the Coast Guard can't find them, what's Harry gonna do? What's up? Hey, you all right? Yeah. I'm worried about you. Hi, Drake. I'm fine. Jen's coming in a few days. Why? She hasn't even seen Dad in like two years. She wants to help. She thinks we need to start getting Dad's affairs in order. Give me a fucking break. I'm sorry, Harry. I'm upset, too. But we got to work on the next steps. You can't be going crazy or, I don't know. I just don't want to see you go off the deep end again. We don't even know what happened yet. I'm not going to bury an empty box. We're ready for you. That's him. Do you need a minute alone? How's this happen? We're still figuring that out. We don't need to do this now. No, I want to know. All the bruises and shit on his face. What did that to him? There's some head trauma and lacerations on his face and body, which could have been caused by rocks in the water. It's hard to say. What do you mean hard to say? Head trauma can be pretty tricky. 
head oftentimes gets bumped around in the water and bleeds whether or not the person is um, alive or dead. So, uh, rocks? You just bumped, you bumped into some rocks? There's no way of knowing, really. really fucked up what happened to your dad. I can't believe this. Man. I really don't want to talk about it. Hey, you should talk to Dale. He knows what's going on. I don't want to talk to Dale. No, hey, Dale! Dale! Huh? Hey, Harry! Hold on, thank you. Hey, Harry, hold on. Hold on. I gotta talk to you about something. Hold on. Hey, I gotta get out of here, man. I gotta get 50 bucks, and I'm gonna give it to you. Hey, Harry, I gotta talk to you about something real quick. Ah, uh, shit, Dale, you know, I'm just... On my way out. No, it's about your dad. I think I'm on to something. Hey, can I get a ride? Fuck. How you holding up? Not great. A lot of strange activity lately, man. Hear about all them dead fish? Mm-hmm. What about Andy Gould's catch a few weeks back? Dead fish? Birds. A couple dozen of them. Yeah. Yeah. Same thing happened in Arkansas about three years ago. 5,000 birds dropped out of the sky dead. <laughs> Nobody knew what happened to them. Did you read this? I don't know where this thing. Apparently they died before they hit the ground. Like there was some kind of physical trauma in the air. Where did you read this shit? It happened. In the journal? Times? About a billion websites, man. Look it up. Shit. It's happening all over. Not just Arkansas. I ain't just here either. Sweden, Norway, Germany, Brazil. Did your buddy report those dead birds? To who? The government? Risk getting put on some fucking list for the rest of his life? Are you kidding me? It's probably the government that's doing this shit anyway. You and I should sit down sometime and talk. Honestly. It's all connected. Dead birds in the water. Dead fish in the water. Your dad in the water. Talk soon.
Seriously. You can get a one bedroom apartment in Cranston for 800 bucks. He's not gonna know anyone. You think he knows anyone here? And your dad, period. A millionaire is during the summer. Yokels and crazy people all year round. What's he gonna do when you make more? Flip burgers, mop floors. What's he gonna do here? Is he out there in the spread of the winter rattling around Bell's house to defend himself again? Hey, here. Hi. How you holding up? So, how are the plans coming along? Uh, we're gonna do the collation at McCabe's. I'm sure Dad would be buried there if they'd let him. They don't have a kitchen, so one of us will have to go to the store and pick up some food. Wouldn't be surprised if half the island shows up. Man, I'm gonna need a stiff drink after that. You know, we're not all crazy around here. I know that. I work with Jen. Okay. She said you worked with your dad. You two go. must have. Are you old enough? Going out of my mind. I gotta make small talk with a bunch of fucking people I don't even know. Make them feel better because they met my dad a couple times. He's my fucking dad. Who the fuck are these people? Why the closed casket? Wasn't my decision. Yeah. So the mortician was telling me that your dad came in and he wasn't looking all right? Like something might have happened to him out there? By the way. Sorry for your loss, man. Yeah. Platters. What do you have in mind? Uh, ham, cheese. Give me a sec.
What's your problem? I'm sorry. Where are you going? You can't just leave this here. Come on, are you kidding me? Hey! Hey! Where are you going? Where's the food? I don't have it. Are you kidding me? <sighs> yeah, you gotta eat Advil back there. I think... I don't know. Something like that. Hey, shall we... Where's the food? People are starving. He didn't get it. I don't know what the hell's going on with him. He acts like he's the only person who's affected here. Nobody had no reason to hurt him. I mean, it was just a quick accident. Oh, Jesus, he's got that big old house with the views. Gotta be worth at least a couple of million these days. They tell me I have nothing to gain from this. That's right. I'm talking about you, you piece of shit. What are you saying? What's it like living in that house all by yourself? Show your fucking mouth, Steve. Your pa gave you everything. You throw him in the water like a fucking stone. What's going on? Get the fuck off me! You called? Come over here. Yeah. All right. Steve wanted to press charges, but I talked to him. Oh, come on. You should have heard that old shit. All right, Harry, it's settled. Now, you got to call Ned and apologize. He nearly broke the guy's nose. Fine. Your sister's out front. Which one? The nice one. We can find an ashtray. Be good. It's not my fault. It was Dad's funeral. He Harry. started it. It was Dad's funeral. Meredith Gibson invited us over for dinner tonight. Okay. You can come, but you have to behave yourself. Oh, give me a break, Jen didn't Audrey. even want you to be there. Then I won't fucking go. I don't blame her. She's upset. Steve accused me of killing Dad. What? He said I wanted the house. He said that. So some guys deserve a black eye every once in a while. Jesus. I'm sorry. Yeah, me too.
is a mess. How much did you drink last night? I didn't. Most people throw their beer bottles in the trash. I didn't fucking do anything. Before. This was mom and dad's house, okay? When is she going back to New York? Tonight. Thank Christ. She gets to be pissed off when you pull shit like this. Yeah, okay. You know, before Mom died, she told me she spent her whole life trying to help us get along. She begged me not to let it all fall apart after she was gone. Stop picking fights with Jen. school. He'd come and he'd take me out. Grandma had no clue. Don't get any ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Harry's lucky. He was the favorite. Grandpa never did that with me. You would have ratted him out. <laughs> Where would you go? Uh, we just jump on the boat, cruise around the coast. Um, sometimes you go exploring. Sakonet, Nantucket. Hey, we should get going if you're gonna make that ferry. Okay. You need a lift? I can take her. I don't mind. Um, okay. Listen, I, uh, I'm sorry that things have been weird or whatever between us. I just, I haven't been myself. He was my best friend, you know, and uh, I didn't have many friends growing up. I don't have many now. So he was all I had. I'm sorry too, but we all, just want what's best for you. Yeah. Especially Audrey. Don't take advantage of her, okay? She's got her own kid to worry about. Yeah, you should probably get going. I love you, Harry. It's just, it's time to take control of your life. Take care of yourself. Yeah, I'll see you at the next funeral.
Hey. Hey! Yeah. You want to tell me what happened to your truck? Hey, what's going on? Harry's truck's all smashed up. There's blood on the grill. Jesus, what'd you hit? I don't, a, a deer. How many beers did you have last night, Harry? I wasn't drunk. If I find you tooling around and drinking in that thing, I'm going to take you to the ACI myself, you understand? I don't care that you're going through a rough time because your father's dead. Okay, take it easy. I'm not going to let you kill someone in that truck. Loud and clear. Anything else? You better keep an eye on him. Why didn't you tell me you hit a deer, Harry? I don't remember what happened. Were you drunk? No. Harry? No. I wasn't. I don't know what the fuck is happening to me. Tell me what's going on. It's all my fault. It's all my fucking fault. He was losing his mind. I don't know if it was dementia. I don't know if he was just going fucking crazy or what, but it, he'd be so confused, he'd just black out. And then I tried to get him to go to the doctor, but he wouldn't do it. And then he wouldn't let me tell anybody. It's okay, Harry, it's not your fault. Audrey, nobody knew. And then he gets on the fucking boat and he drowns, so yeah, I should have done something, I should have told somebody. Stop, stop. Forgetting things? I was driving home last night and I see his fucking deer. And then I wake up and I'm on the boat in the middle of the fucking sound. You're sleepwalking. I'm scared. 
head. I need you to memorize these three words. Potato, dumpling, porcupine. What? Potato, dumpling, porcupine. Can you memorize those? What, am I four years old? Just keep those in your head. Now, draw a clock inside the circle. Okay. Very good. Yeah, well, I'm not an idiot, so. Can you repeat those three words for me? Is this a test to see if I'm crazy? <sighs> it's a little tight in here. Are you all right? Have you calmed down? It's like being microwaved in a coffin in there. It says here that you've been getting headaches. Did you get them in the MRI? I couldn't even think. You live near the west bank of Block Island, right? Near that new wind farm? Yeah. I'd like you to talk to a friend of mine. He had similar issues a few years back. Headaches, fatigue, memory deficits. And what was wrong with him? It's rare, but I believe that he had electromagnetic hypersensitivity. It means that your body doesn't respond well to electronic waves, that they affect your brain, make you feel sick. Okay, how do you cure it? Well, there's not much known about it now, but my friend was able to get relief by getting rid of all of his electronics and moving to an area near West Greenwich. It's sort of an electromagnetic dead zone. Uh, yeah, I'm now moving to South County. I think it'd be a good idea for you to write him and see if he has anything to say. Oh. There's a chance that relocating... Well, you could forget it, because I'm not moving. They could take down the goddamn turbines. I, I was there first. Can I get his information? His phone number or something? He doesn't have a phone. That's the thing. Right. I can give you his address if you'd like to write him a letter. In the meantime, here's a prescription for something mild. This should help him with his anxiety. But no more drinking. Easier said than done. He's got to find a better way to cope. Is that it? Didn't drive you too crazy. Ah, no, she's easy. Where's Harry? I don't know. It didn't go great. He went on a drive to clear his head. Are you, uh, are you sure that's a good idea? No. I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do right now. 
you know, I can stay. If you're, you know, worried about him or if you're afraid he might do something. He's not dangerous. Oh, he just seems a little unstable. He's my brother, Paul. He's not violent. People change, Audrey. Not like that. I don't know, something traumatic happens and it could be like the flip of a switch, you know, some, some underlying condition surfaces. Like, I'm just saying you don't have to do everything yourself, okay? Maybe it's time you consider some serious help. Like what? Like, I don't know, they have some really good programs at Madison. I'm not sending him to a mental institution. Okay, Audrey, it's not some kind of insane asylum, okay? It's just full-time care by people that are trained to deal with someone like him. Is Uncle Harry crazy? in there? Hello? Hey, is somebody in there? Harry? What are you doing out here? Is this just stuff? Yeah. Hygrometers, barometers, a Geiger counter, EMF reader, you name it, I got it. Is this the spot where those birds dropped? Yeah. Somebody's got to keep an eye on this place. Did you find anything? A lot of strange data. It's too soon to speculate, though. What are you doing out here? I don't know. Something's wrong with me. What do you mean? They got me going to all these doctors and all this bullshit. Something's wrong. Something with the island. You know it, I know it. I just... I want to get to the bottom of it. Come with me. This place has always been a hotbed of activity, but this is new, man. I'm glad you're finally involved in all this. I've been keeping tabs on this island since I was a fucking teenager, man. Government testing, paranormal activity, interdimensional communications, you name it, it's in that fucking file. Here, look at this, there's some light reading for you. <laughs> what is all this? This are printouts of every website that I could find about paranormal activity before the government could get their hands on it and redact it. Right. It's a weird world outside of this garage. Are you ready for the truth? Fucking crazy person. I just bought a six pack. You gotta go easy on the alcohol, Harry. Dr. Cox I'm going said... to McCabe's. Harry. What? Just go to bed, watch a movie or something. You'll feel better. Oh, my God. 
I can't keep doing this. Shit is everywhere. It rained last night, Harry. Everything out there is ruined. I'm sorry. Did you black out? Did you even remember what happened? I, just, I tried to make it stop. The Peterson's dog went missing last night. Did you have something to do with that? I didn't do it.
Are you sure? Emily's eaten. She knows how to set up her bed. Just make sure Harry doesn't burn the place down. Wait, where are you going? I need answers. I can't wait two weeks to get some letter back from this guy. That's crazy, Audrey. You don't even know this guy. Just give him a call. He doesn't have a phone. Then I'll go. No, Paul, I just need you to trust me on this, okay? I need to be the one asking the questions. Listen, just let me go for you. I don't want to see you get hurt by some crazy guy living in the woods. You mean too much to me, okay? I can't have this conversation right now. Audrey. Listen, if you want to help, keep an eye on Emily. I got to do this myself. Okay. I'll be back. Last ferry. Can I help you? Are you Kurt? Who are you? I'm Audrey. Dr. Koch gave me your information. I was hoping to ask you some questions. Take that off. Sorry, what? Your watch. Is that a cell phone in your purse? Yeah. Put it in your car. Now! Okay. Coming? Yep. Walking in here with a cell phone's like walking in here with a grenade. Don't you get it? I'm sorry, I should have realized. How's Annie? Dr. Koch? She's good. You still in Boston? Providence. I think my brother might be suffering from your same affliction. Electromagnetic. I ain't got that. No? I got a problem with electronics, though, that's for sure. I I'm just trying to get a better understanding. You want something different than this? I'm okay. Come on. It ain't often I get company out here. Listen, I'm sorry. Brother's getting headaches and stuff from his cell phone or whatever, but that ain't what I got. It's not just headaches. He's been having blackouts. He's been doing strange things. He loses track of time. When did all this start? My niece loves this one, Anne. Think you're gonna like it. I'll be in my room. Well, it's not that bad, I promise. I just, I just wanna shut my eyes. Well, come on, man, give it a shot. Yeah, watch it with us. Where does he end up? What do you mean? Is he drawn somewhere specifically? I really don't know. What does he do during his blackouts? I don't know. Uh, he makes a mess, trashes the place. What does he take? Animals? Food? I'm not following you. You gotta get him away from there. They start small. 
monitored on what we eat, what we interact with. Pretty soon they want more. Pretty soon someone's gonna end up hurt. Come on, this DVD's brand new. Disc or something. They're communicating with him. They make you hallucinate. See stuff that ain't there. Force your hand. Don't you understand? He's their vessel now. Who? They want something. What do they want? Girl. 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 What's wrong, Uncle Harry? Girl. Girl. What's going on? Back out of me. Girl. One day, I catch myself bringing my cat to a rendezvous, and the next I got a goddamn homeless lady in the back of my fucking Let seat. They want to know what makes us tick, lady. They're gonna rip you apart and staple you back together again. No! You gotta get your brother out of there before he hurts somebody! Somebody's gonna end up dead! You hear me?
Where's Emily?
Emily. It's okay, come here. Come on. You're okay. I know it's confusing, but most of the fish we take out of the water, we put right back in just a few days later. We're learning about them. We're studying them so we can get to know them better, so we can help them better. I know it sounds mean and scary. But by taking some brave fish out of the water and learning about them, we can eventually help all the other fish. It's a good thing we're doing. <laughs>